It's that time of year again. So we just left the house about 10, 15 minutes ago. While we are on some gravel right now, <laughs> we're gonna be on a 99% pavement on this trip. Got a couple of weeks planned. We're going out on the bikes. Got my sister behind me on her Malta Strada. Uh, everything's been going over on the bikes. Obviously, I have a spare fuel pump and uh, we're looking forward to riding for the next uh, two, maybe two plus weeks. So today's plan is to make it somewhere into Indiana by the end of today's ride. We got a little short of 600 miles to cover. I've got us mainly on state and US routes. Very, very limited interstate today. Uh, if we got to hop on it here and there, we will, but it, it'll be limited. Tomorrow will be a lot of interstate, so uh, I want to make it as fun as possible today and, and also cover a decent amount of mileage. Weather looks to be good all day. Obviously, that can always change, but it's starting out great this morning. It's in the it's in the mid-60s, a little humid, but uh, the sun's shining and looking forward to riding all day today. about uh i don't know around 120 miles in the trip we're gonna stop here in cool spring park and i need a bathroom break and stretch for a minute and then get back on us 50. all right quick stop there in rollsburg next uh town of any substance will be grafton that we get to See if this road's any smoother through here than last time. Doesn't feel like it. I think I'm about out of fuel. Yep. Did your gauge kick in? Nope. Oh. I gotta pull over. Okay. I am out of fuel. Well, fiddlesticks. Find the nearest gas station. Where's it at? We passed one. We passed one. Yeah. So um, off to an outstanding start, about 150 miles in, I noticed maybe 30 miles ago that my fuel gauge had been stuck at the same thing for a while. And I'm probably about a half mile from the gas station and bone dry. So uh, my sister's going back to grab a fuel can. We're here in uh, Bridgeport, West Virginia. Hopefully we'll be back on the road here in the next 10, 15 minutes. That works. you go ahead and get fuel? Yeah. Okay. All 
All right, so we lost a few minutes there, but not too bad. I'll stop and fill this thing up on the other side of Clarksburg. Ought to be good for 30, yeah, probably more than 30 miles, 50, 60 miles, something like that. All right, so now I'm actually gonna stop and properly fill this thing up, so uh, hopefully we don't have to buy another fuel can. We'll go ahead and set that so we know next time. Probably just a tad bit over an hour outside of Cincinnati just started spitting a little bit of rain not really complaining because this cloud cover has definitely cooled things down it was getting up into the upper 80s and it's dropped it down about 10 degrees in the upper 70s and as you can see from the sky ahead it's not gonna last real long just cool things off a little bit Taking a look at the live radar map as we're going down the road. Obviously, you can see it's pretty dark over there, and we've been seeing some uh, bolts of lightning, but we should stay right to the south of there. We're probably going to hit a little rain coming through Cincinnati, but it looks to be pretty light. And then once we get west of there, everything clears up. So, can't really complain. We're damn near 400 miles into the day's ride, and you know, we've been rained on a total of about three minutes. We just stopped here in Indiana, pretty much first available place we could. We would book a hotel room for the night. And also, my sister won't need fuel anymore. She just put a gallon and a half in there or whatever, so should be set to get into town tonight. Yeah, it's high school, LHS Athletics. It is a big complex. Is there a distillery over there? Uh, Seagram's. So we're kind of in between Lawrenceburg and Aurora, Indiana, and it's not moving at all on US 50. So it may take us a little bit longer to get into town tonight than we anticipated, but not much we can do about it. Was at about, man, not quite 560 miles, but close. <laughs> 